Hello everybody, welcome back to Work Right Planner. Today I am going to set up the cash envelopes we talked about. Um, I used to do this many years ago. I have not done it. I know since before COVID. Um, so we're going to give this a go and try to get back into the swing of things. So initially when you set up cash envelopes, of course you have to figure out where you spend the most money at. So you have to track your expenses, figure out where your problem areas are. For me, um, I have decided that I want five cash envelopes. Um, it's gonna be eating out my personal money, gas money, grocery money, and the joint miscellaneous money. Now, uh, these two, the grocery and the joint miscellaneous, these two categories, I'm gonna keep part of the money in my account. Um, just because COVID taught us some things, I really prefer to not go to the grocery store. I don't spend as much if I'm not walking through there. The click order and pick up thing works really nicely for us. So I'm going to continue that. And on this one, we need to keep some of the money in the account because you can get some better deals if you order through apps and that requires paying digitally. So we're going to keep some of that in the account, some of that on hand, um, but we will still have cash. And I forgot how much I like cash. Y'all, this stuff smells like stuff you want to keep. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and it feels nice. We'll be holding on to this as much as possible. Anyway, so for eating out, what I've got to put in here is $40. For my personal money, I've got 30 bucks. My gas money, I'm gonna have $200. And my goal is to try to bring that up to that every month. We will see how that works. Um, for groceries, I've got $100. And for the joint miscellaneous right now, I'm putting in nothing. Now, that's what I need. It comes out to be $370. So our next step is to break it down into what we're going to put into each envelope. So eating out, 40 bucks, I need two 20s. For me, 30 bucks, I need one 20 and a 10. Uh, for the gas, I'm going to do a 50 um, and a 10 because I had two 10s together. That's $60. So I need seven 20s. And then for the grocery, I need $100, so that's going to be five 20s. And then, of course, that's going to get zero. So down here at the bottom, I need 150. Let's see, 5, 12, 13, 15 20s, and two 10s. And this week, I don't need any fives or ones. So we have two 10s. We have one $50 bill, and we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 20s. Okay? So, what I've done is I made some cash envelopes. These are gonna be available in my shop, um, along with several others. I will link that in the description box below. I've got some labels here that I just printed off of a label maker and I've taken index cards and made little transaction registers. I'm working on something that I like a whole lot better than this, but to get started, you use what you have. So for eating out, today is July 21st. I'm gonna say deposit. And we have $40, and the balance will be $40. So I'm going to take this first one, put the label on it, probably toward the top, because I'm going to be looking at the top of these things. I need. 2040. We're just going to slide these in there. 
and put this in. That one's ready to go. I need my own. 721 deposit $30 and we're gonna have $30 so we need a 20 and a 10 comes out to be 30 I need an envelope these are made so that if you have the binder you can hole punch them if you'd like you can cut this off if you want to it doesn't matter um, but these are gonna go in my wallet I don't do the binder thing if I kept my sinking funds in envelopes, I would probably have a binder, but I keep them in my bank account. It's just easier than having to deal with worrying about somebody finding my cash in my house and taking it. <clears throat> so, I've had my house broken into before. I have no desire to have cash in my house because once cash is gone, it's gone. If something happens at the bank, they can put that back. Okay, so that one's done. For gas, today is 721. Deposit, we have $200. Balance is 200. We need to make our envelope here. Yes. Okay. So, a lot of people count these straight through. Um, I'm not going to do that. I've got $60 here. So, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. I just find that easier. So, we've got $200. into the envelope. That one's ready to go. We have groceries. 721. Deposit. $100. And a $100 balance. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-one. Got to fix that. That'll make me nuts. And then, of course, the joint miscellaneous account. I'm not putting anything in that. So, at least this way I'll know that there's not supposed to be anything in there. Oops. And that it's not a mistake. I don't have any money missing. So, there's that. This is down in there. There we have it. Cash envelope stuffed. We will see how it goes if it helps me to curb my spending because that has been an issue. But okay, thank you all. Have a great day and I will see you later.